Welcome back, folks. It's another Digital Media Zone handy dandy screencast. And this one is for anyone out there. This is all beginner's info uh, with regards to Media Center. Um, any of you guys that have been using this for a long time, or ladies for that matter, you're probably not going to be interested in this, so you can stop it right now. This is just a beginner's walkthrough and to give people who might be interested in Media Center an idea of exactly what is in there. This is kind of coming a little late compared to some of the other ones we've done, uh, some of the other screencasts we provided, but we thought it was a good idea to go ahead and get something out there for people who are searching for information, don't know what Media Center is, maybe it's on their PC, maybe they're not even interested in using Media Center for television, uh, but they do want to get it working for other things. And uh, this is going to be the way to do it. And this is going to show you exactly what you can do with Media Center. So if you run on Windows 7, this is the first thing you're going to see when you start Media Center. This will be the absolute first thing that pops up. They want you to set it up. Uh, the best way to experience TV on your PC. As anyone else in the community would tell you, though, it's not limited to your computer, so don't think it is. Of course, you can connect things to your television, which will allow you to have that Media, media Center experience in the living room as well. That being said, let's go ahead and hit continue here. Now, again, the first thing it's going to do is set everything up. We're just going to hit express because we're not going to go through custom. I'm not going to set up television during this uh, this little screencast. We'll do that later. Uh, actually, there's already one out there if you want to take a look at that. Uh, so we're just going to hit express, and basically Media Center is going to chug for a second and say, okay, I'm set up. And then it's going to drop you in. Now, I don't have any tuners in this PC. I do need to get one or two in there so that I can do some more demonstrations. But for now, we're just going to look at what we've got. So first up, TV. Media Center can be used for television. A lot of people don't necessarily know that, and they don't know that they can get television in their computer. Now, this requires the use of a TV tuner, whether that's an internal um, circuit card or an external device. Tuners come in USB form as far as little tiny, look almost like a flash drive, little tiny key. Uh, you can also get full out of the box, uh, or I should say in their own box, uh, TV tuners that just plug in via USB cable. They're even networking tuners. So, oh, look at that, I got an update just that fast. So you can see here we've got recorded TV. Now this is what, what'll go in here is anytime you record a show, when you have a tuner connected, this is what's gonna show up. This is just one they, they drop in. As you can see, it's a sample TV program. Uh, just shows you some, some uh, scenes just to show you what it can do and to show you the, how TV shows up within this area. So we back out of that, we've got a guide. We're not gonna see anything here, but this if, if you think about this, it's gonna ask me to set up more than likely. Oh wow, it's gonna show me my uh, my internet TV stuff. You'll see now there, there are no channels there. And the reason there are no channels there is pretty simple, is because I have not set up the guide on this yet. Again, there are no tuners installed. If you do install a tuner, you'll go here to set up your live TV. Windows Media Center can handle four uh, now, we're talking about US here, so keep that in mind, but it can handle four uh, of any one type of tuner, so you can have up to a total of 16 in the US, four cable card, four QAM, four NTSC, and four ATSC tuners, uh, if that helps you out at all and, and helps you set those things up. Next up, we've got our, our standard movie library. You can store files locally on your PC or in other places on your network and be able to play back movies. Now, uh, this is movie library is pretty much for, for really for uh, uh, DVD, you know, professionally produced movies. Uh, we're not talking so much home movies here, although I'm sure there's a way to do it if you point at the right folder. There's probably a way to get them in there. But this is really meant to display movies that have... DVD cover art, things like that. If you have a DVD drive, you can, of course, play a DVD within Media Center as well. Blu-ray Blu support is through a third party, so keep that in mind if you really want to get into rocking some HD movies through Media Center. Uh, apparently, it blends well, but I don't have that software, so we won't be demoing that today. Also on our movies bar, we have Netflix. If you have a Netflix subscription, you can now watch Netflix right inside Media Center. Uh, again, that requires a setup, and I'm not going to go through that at this time. Included with Media Center as well is a music library. You've got music, uh, play favorites. If you have if you have a radio tuner, either FM or AM, I uh, I think it supports AM. Uh, I'd have to check, but uh, minimum you're getting FM radio. So if you like listening to local radio, 
and you want to place a radio tuner in your PC, you can do that as well. Favorites are going to be just that uh, songs, albums, what have you that you tag as a favorite. Your music library upon setup, and, and again, you'll see a future screencast doing that. Music library will allow you to play back music with cover art if it's available. Uh, Media Center will typically run out and grab that cover art if it recognizes your ID tag on your MP3s. Pictures and video, this is where you're going to set up to store your pictures, your family photos, things of that nature. You'll find them all in here. Usually arranged by arranged, these are all arranged by folder. So however you set up your picture library, uh, if you have a folder on your hard drive that say is called pictures and you point your picture library to Media Center, I'm sorry, you point your Media Center picture library to that folder Whatever the folder structure is under there, that's where you're going. That's how you're going to see it within this this screen. Uh, you can, of course, set up your libraries to point to multiple locations if you have pictures in different folders. As well, we have videos. This is typically where people are going to put their home movies that they might store on their computer, uh, that recent vacation to the beach, things of that nature. So uh, you, it's where you're going to find all that stuff. We'll come back to extras real quick. This is our tasks bar, which is where we can go into settings. It's not really a feature of Media Center, so I'm not going to review much. What you will see here is add extender. Media Center does allow you to use what are called extenders to connect throughout your home and get this nice Media Center interface uh, on every TV in your house. Now, one and the best example of an extender is the Xbox 360. I think that's kind of what they're trying to picture here uh, in front because honestly, that is the best that's out there. You can also sync with devices directly from InMedia Center. Uh, you can burn CDs and DVDs directly. You can go and learn more. That'll be helpful for some people. Again, we're not going to roll through settings at this time, but there is a settings page there where you can go in. We'll go and take a look. Uh, TV, pictures, music. This is where you're going to go set up libraries, set up an extender. You can change the look of your menu within limits natively with Media Center. There are third-party applications that'll do that. Check out some of our other screencasts. Set up your DVDs, your music, your pictures, your television. General is just exactly what it says. Just some general things, the behavior, how it looks, sound effects, things of that nature. And yes, you do get parental controls, which are awesome if you've got kids. So let's back out of there real quick. Next up, sports. Uh, you can get all the scores that are going on if you're internet connected, so I can go ahead and bring this up. And as you can see, it's going to show me, let's see, there's uh, some baseball. Let's check the NHL. I don't think there's going to be any any uh, any games, but it, it will tell you that it's on at 7 p.m. tonight. Canadians and Montreal, uh, I'm sorry, can, the Montreal Canadiens and the Pittsburgh Penguins will be playing. The series is tied at 3-3. Three and three. Brewers and Flyers are playing at 8 o'clock tonight, it looks like. And uh, we'll see how those turn out. So... I typically turn this off because I'm not a sports guy, uh, but um, it is possible to go ahead and get some sports scores while in Media Center. You can also check on players and leagues, and as I said, I normally turn these off, so I haven't even seen it. So uh, there we go, NFL. Now, again, this isn't really going to save, probably isn't going to show very much for me because I don't have uh, a tuner. What that really is is going to tell you your sports breakdown and what's going to be on um, coming up. And again, no tuner, no sports, because there's no guide data to pull from. Uh, we're back to TV. So let's go look at extras real quick. Now, there's not a whole lot here that ships with Media Center. Are some little games and things you can play uh, right up there on your big screen. That's really your, your extras library. Um, there's also an extras gallery. I don't really know what the difference is, except in here you're going to get some sports stuff. Uh, some things they've added. Cinema now apparently does still work within Media Center, which is interesting. I don't think a whole lot of people use it. This is a tool you're going to want right here if you're going to get a cable card. This is going to make sure that your PC meets the requirements to use a cable card tuner. So keep that in mind. You're going to find it in the extras gallery. This has been another real quick Media Center, pod, uh, Media Center screencast from the DMZ. Hope you enjoyed it and we hope it uh, provided you some extra information or some helpful information if you're just getting started with Media Center. If that's the case, Please let us know at info at the digital media zone dot com or entertainment two point uh, sorry entertainment two zero at the digital media zone dot com specific to media center and we will be happy to help you out. Thanks again for joining me and we will be back at some point.